Hey, hey, Good Players Podcast. I am Heavy Superior. Alongside of me is my beautiful co-host, Taylor. Hey, what y'all. you want to go by, Taylor? What I want to go by? My name's Taylor. Taylor? You don't got like an alter ego? No. I mean, you can say Taylor Raven. Taylor Raven. Yeah. It's your government name. Partially. You don't got to tell them the I'm going to start calling you Taylor. That's what everybody, <laughs> that's what everyone knows me as. Taylor Ray? Taylor Raven. Well, Tay Ray good. Tay Ray hard. That's your good player nickname, Tay Ray. On the podcast. On the podcast. Y'all nobody yeah. comment. <laughs> I'm sorry, my co-host Tay Ray. Everybody clap it up for Tay Ray. <laughs> it's weird, John. You dead ass <laughs> And then, you know, alongside the hub, we got my boy in the building, my boy John here. Bounce. Ooh, 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 ooh. Y'all had a good week? It was straight. I've been recouping. You've been recouping. Oh, happy belated birthday. I'm old. Taylor, yeah, clap it up for Taylor. She had a birthday. I'm oh, you're 22. <laughs> Y'all don't believe it. No. <laughs> I don't look 22. No. I'm not telling me fuck out all that time. I'm grown. I That's all no. y'all need to know. No. I said no. You don't look 22 either, John. I don't. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> John, the light work at GameStop, don't you? Damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> they always be 40 something. No. Nah. John don't look 40, though. I'm not 40. Oh. He don't look close to 40. He look 45, y'all. Damn. Damn, John. She done got your grandkid. <laughs> you feel first, me? Your first grandbaby. Your son didn't got the first house built. Most people do have yeah, grandkids. Yeah. Now, yes. Not this generation. We don't got no goddamn kids. No, nah, we don't. Wait, now hold on. I know grandparents in their thirties. I feel like the majority. A grandparent in your thirties? Hell yeah! That's crazy. So what? They had a kid at ten, and they kid had a kid at ten. You mean like late, like thirty nine type shit? Man, I age thirty three. I age with a grandbaby, bro. I age. That is wow. I don't know none of these. I people. remember in the sixth grade, it was a girl pregnant. I mean, everybody so knew. I think her, everybody I think, knew I think her situation was unfortunate. I ain't going to. She was the same way. Mm. Mm. So. And so was her kid. Yeah. Generational curses. We got to break them things. Yeah, because my grandma had my mom when she was 14. But that's a different t- day a and age. High, hiding the pair of big girl. That's a different day and age. Mm. If I was getting married at 14, 16. That's crazy. How can you marry somebody at 14? And her husband was probably... 30. Now, my granddad was like 18. Okay, that ain't bad. Oh, freaking nigga, boy. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? What you, um, what all you do for your birthday? Nothing profound. I was fucked up all week. All it week? It was great. You was outside with the bottle on your head? Yep. What's up with that shit? I don't know. Why do, why, where did that come from? It's not cute. It looked crazy. If I bought the bottle, I'm going to do whatever I want to with it. Mm. So, it ain't no point. It's just some shit that just popped off on TikTok and everybody just started putting a bottle on their head. I am not of the TikTok um, coalition, so I don't know. I don't know about Maybe that. Instagram. What you gonna, what's going to what you going to do in your since this your uh your farewell year, your final lap? He age. just stalled out your age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's bracket. He stalled you out. Which, what plans do you have for yourself, like personal goals and shit you want to get into? Mm, I just I just want to be a lot more focused. Um, I feel like I have a lot of plans and a lot of ideas in my brain. This is the year that I intend to execute. And I like some absurd, like manic I got to do, I got to do, I got to do, I got to do. But, like, very intentional. Yeah. Like, I think I've done a lot of, like, personal work and, uh, like, personal growth on, like, who I want to be and, like, what life looks like for me. Yeah. And so this is my intentional year. You still want to be a stripper? <laughs> the best stripper I can be, baby. Okay. Y'all ain't know that. Hello. That's how I got to get the money and the fun out of my business. Joe, what you think I'm stripping? I ain't going to be John. Jonathan say something crazy. <laughs> he finna say some absurd. I'm thinking, fact, I'm, 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 I'm thinking of some absurd shit. Hold on, yeah, take a second. Hold on, wait. T. Ray Ray, coming to the coming to the stage. Coming to the stage. That's a week. 
My name gotta have something <laughs> good <Something>. outfit. <laughs> It's gotta have something big in it. It's gotta be like big. Yeah, it gotta be a. Uh, we'll think about it. Well, it whenever it hits you, just say it. Okay. Whenever it hits you, just say it. John gonna say it at the right time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and before we continue, make sure y'all follow us on. Um, Instagram, Instagram, YouTube. Facebook, YouTube at the Good Players. That's. Uh, the good P L A I R S. So I got tied up. I'm so used to. I got to okay, get used to my niggas. We know in them classes. This looks speech class. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> he had to no. leave the room, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I got to get back. I got to get used to saying that all the time. I got to be repetitious type shit. You know, this is my first time potting sober. Clap it up. It took 107 Make some episodes noise, y'all. to be what sober. What the fuck? <laughs> huh? Make some noise, y'all. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's your stripper name. What the fuck? <laughs> it coming to the stage. Big dub. <laughs> he said big dub. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yo, man, make sure y'all follow us, man. We got the Patreon. Probably going to be up by the next episode. For real, for real. Um, We're going to have, like, exclusive... For real, for real, exclusive content. Me and John been saying we're going to go out and hit these streets and take it to another level. I think it's time to to do that for real, for real. So We're going to be outside. We're going to be outside. Shout out to Plugged In Podcast with Low. Shout out to April with the Pink Playbook Podcast. She dropped every Wednesday, 6.30 in the morning, sometimes 7 o'clock in the evening. Just depend on how the computer feel. Shout out to Young AG. So... Let's get to the bullshit, man. First on the list, um, rest in peace, y'all got a brother that just happened today. Big rest Jook in peace. was murdered in his hometown, Memphis. And prayers up to the family. I hate when like people come up and try to dodge the atmosphere they grew up in and still wind up getting killed like after you made it type shit. Where they trying to dodge it? Hmm? Where they trying to dodge it? I mean, you had to in order to achieve what you achieve. You had to dodge a lot of bullshit and crazy people and wicked shit, you know? I would think so. You don't think so? I don't know. I can't I don't I can't speak on that. I feel like people always got their toe in it. That's how they end up getting got. They always got their toe in it. Mm. Cause some shit you just can't walk away from. Some, exactly. I ain't mad at it. You know, we from we from a, a very similar city. You know what that look like? Like you try to stay grounded to home, niggas trying to hate you out. Mm-hmm. We just seen that like a couple of weeks ago. We did. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, new music came out Friday. I want to take a time shout out to my boy Twenty One Savage. Twenty One, Twenty One, Twenty One, Twenty One, Twenty One on this album. To me, I think this is best body of work. Hell no. For real, for real. It's well, that one better than that one better than um I am or why I was. And I'm still stuck on it's an album. And I and I think for me because oh, wait. I was Shit. very mm-hmm. stuck on not liking him and then listening to all the things that he talked about, I was very much surprised and then that that's when I became a fan. Yeah. Then it's I have so, have FaceTime on now. Yes. Yeah, I remember that because that, that little pink cover actually is. So yeah, that that pink cover is. Yeah. I, I what I guess I could say as far as like consistency and like production and what he, of course, Teaser said he the best uh, block spinner rapper, best gun bar rapper. Facts, yeah. That nigga said he a homebody <laughs> kill him in his front yard. <laughs> I said, oh my god. <laughs> I, it's so crazy the things that he says because he'll say something so prolific and then turn around and say some shit like that. And you just be like, bro, what the fuck wrong with you? I don't know, man. I, I like it. Like, I like the, I had seen, did you see the watch column that came out with it? The video, too? yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I liked it. I liked was, it. Was it uh? So it's not an actual movie coming out. It's just yeah, it a is. music video. It's a movie coming out. It's uh, a Donald music Global, video. Donald um, Glover playing him. It's a music video. So it's like an extended music video. I watched it already. Unless there's more, it's just an extended music video. Mm. Donald Glover with the music? Yeah. 
So I basically, what Donald man? Donald was like young, twenty one, and then wow. the 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 boy from Stranger Things was like kid twenty one when he first got here. Yeah, Caleb, when he first got to the U S. Mm. Oh, so. Even though the characters don't look like him, yeah. he picked very good actors mm-hmm. that were like you felt it. What y'all think the worst movie was somebody was acting a biopic? Um Flix. Flix did that Michael Jackson. <laughs> yes, yes. You I was I was like, damn, what's that Michael Jackson movie? The voice and they put they put this nigga in white face, bro, and they drew him a booty chin on that bit. Yeah, that was wild for that. Why they draw that? Why they draw Flix a booty chin like that? Shout out to him, man. Make up the only thing that made way. theaters, bro. Huh? That had to been a BET movie. I'm pretty nah, sure. No, that would have been Tubi. But MTV Facts. did that shit, though. That was an MTV movie? Mm-hmm. After they did the American Story. VH1. Oh, VH1 did the American Story. So they, they tried to compete. Because the American remember, Story is a banger. Y'all remember when NBC used to have the biopics? They had the Little Richard and the Temptations. That was good. Yeah, that was fire. Didn't Leon play... Leon played in everybody biopic. He did play David Ruffin too. Leon played in everybody biopic. That's an actor for your ass. But you also got to think about the type of the type of people he was playing. Mm-hmm. It just worked. Yeah, <laughs> it did because that nigga played the hell out of David Ruffin. He played the hell out of Little Richard. Yeah. Dang, that boy had to play Auntie. That's crazy. Little Richard had them hoes though. Allegedly. Outwardly. <laughs> I don't know. That didn't make sense. If you had to fight one, you find Little Richard or Prince. Prince, ah, shit, Richard. I don't know. Little Richard, Little Richard with the shit, Little Richard, bro. old school, bro. He probably whooped them, bro. Whooped Prince the with the shit, bro. Off. I think both of them niggas whooped. I, I honestly have no, no. What is it? No dog in the fight. <laughs> they said one time. I don't know how true this story is. I seen it on a like a TV show I was watching. They said that. All right, Fred. They said that um, Little Richard, I mean, Prince was beefing with Michael Jackson. He did. So he had Michael Jackson. Mama was walking across the street, and Prince was like, hit that bitch. Told the driver that. To hit the mama? Yeah. That's a But being crazy and whooping a nigga ass is two different things, though. Mm. I think. Lil Richard, tell somebody ass up. Yeah, he look like he got that one, <laughs> like the little cat, the little cat machine like that. He look like he gonna tell your ass. Shit. Bop, 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 bop. Bro, Prince who, bro? So you know that nigga was athletic. Yeah, he athletic. Prince gonna get on your ass. You feel me? The nigga who? Like Man. I thought Dave Chappelle was lying like hell at first. I'm now like, everybody's so like, co-sign that Prince was a hooper. That's <laughs> Dave Chappelle the go. Oh, did y'all watch the Dave Chappelle? Yeah, that shit. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the point yeah, now man. where I don't really care to see Dave Chappelle do stand up no more. It just ain't funny no the more. The comeback was the comeback, and then it was. It's like he keep giving you the same like interior run around. Yeah, it's corner, but I would probably fight. I got the Richard. Yeah, he probably look like no, he I would fight a... Prince, bro. You don't fight no old school, bro. Prince, real Richard probably look like he got a switchblade on him. I think I said the same thing. We're not fighting Little Richard. I think at general consensus, we're Little not Richard fighting Little Richard. I, I, no, I, I square with Little Richard. No, I don't know about Prince. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gonna fight Little Richard? Yeah, I, I'd square up with him. I don't know about Prince. Prince, Prince is a little bit too gangster, bro. Michael Jackson looked like he would have put them hands on your ass too. James Brown looked like he would have got on your ass. Might have. James Brown, yeah. James Brown would have stopped coke the whole. Yeah. Richard, so he was coke warrior too, bro, so nah. He would have stopped the Hey, you the see when he on that movie? This is, I do not condone domestic violence at all. At all. You a bitch if you hit women. When he punched Jill Scott, she flew from the kitchen to the other room in the movie. I was like, bro, ain't no nigga hitting nobody like that. That was like on that fall from Baby Boy when Melvin hit Jody yeah. and the mama. <laughs> <laughs> The mama felt that. <laughs> Did y'all see Tyrese uh, trying out for Django? <laughs> I've heard about it. I've heard about it. I've not seen it. Tyrese the worst fucking... Man, chill out, bro. Stick to the Coca-Cola, my boy. 
Damn, that's a throwback. That's the beginning of his career. Baby Boy wasn't good. Yeah, Baby Boy classic. Waist deep. It's a classic. very bad movie though. Storyline wise, it's all good. A lot of black movies are very bad storyline wise. Yeah, you're right on that. What's that movie with um? Love and Basketball. Why the fuck? Did yeah, that movie. You were that that the, the plot of that didn't make no that sense. nigga slam dunk on her ass when she said she wanted to play him for his he, heart. He had, Q had no remorse. You ain't he lying had on that. No remorse. He slammed on. He pushed her on the ground before when she was a child. So she should never did that challenge. She no way she was supposed to get that nigga no cat after prom, and they didn't even go to prom together. <laughs> what? He took another bitch to prom. And he he saved her from being a stud. Though. What's that movie when old boy gave her that record? <laughs> Love did. Jones. Love Jones. That nigga was a stalker. Love Jones. You said it was a stalker. Stalker. That nigga was crazy. His bitch was even crazier. And didn't they significant others end up together? No, no, no. Wait, what the fuck is that? Oh, let me look. Make sure. What the fuck was that movie when old boy gave her a, a playlist or a record or something like that for real? I can't think of that movie. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. I don't know what you talking about. Bro, uh, fuck. I can't think of this shit. Got Tay Diggs in it? Yes. Love, Jones? Let me make sure. It got to be talking about Love, Love Jones. Jones. Nah, no, Tay Diggs. Uh, no. Best man, the Wood. Brown no, they the sugar? Wood. No. Brown Sugar. That's it. Brown Sugar. He, he made up. My cousin was in that movie. Most Def was in it? Yeah, Brown That's Sugar. That's it, yeah. Brown he Sugar. He was a stalker. I never ever seen that movie, neither. Yeah. You never seen He. Mm-hmm. I think he what both of them like music or some shit of like that for real. All the movies, Brown Sugar was the best one. She was a, a music, a hip hop journalist, mm-hmm. and he was a music exec mm-hmm. at a major label. Mm-hmm. And then he went indie and he's in because he wanted to make real music. You know how music connoisseurs are. We want to make real shit. Mm-hmm. How did he? And how did he money. get his get her attention? They was already friends. They've been best friends since they was kids. He did. What the fuck did that nigga She do? was on an interview for, she was on, um, what's her name? Angie. Mm-hmm. She was on the radio with her. And he called into the radio and he asked her, when did she fall in love with hip hop? I thought that was pretty fucking cute. When you fell in love with hip hop? When did I fall in love with hip hop? Speaker box, Love Below, 2002. I'm going to tell y'all my age. I was in the second grade. Hmm. And I listened to that fucking album until the plastic shit started to come <laughs> off. Okay. I think I already had like a love for hip hop. I remember sitting in like the back seat listening to um sipping on some scissor sip and just thinking how crazy the beat was. Yeah, that beat I, never, was I don't even know what the fuck syrup is. Was at the time. But I I think that probably was like the beginning of it, but no. Speaking of rocks, love below. When I fell in love with hip hop, my dad used to be like, uh, "They talking about why are you gonna make a song about pancakes?" <laughs> yeah, man, y'all own this so retarded as hell. He's so cute. Crazy. When Shout did you fall in love with hip hop? Huh? Huh? Um, I'd say probably around like middle school. And to be crazy, like I fell in love with the sound before I fell in love with the rap. Like, Same. It was Timbaland. Timbaland. So it was probably before then. It was like uh, Miss Elliot, uh, the Guess My Window, the Rain song. That was her first, first album. Yeah. She Don't had a lot die? of features. Super though. Duper Fly. Super Duper Fly. Now y'all probably gonna laugh at me, bro. Uh, <laughs> what was Lil Bow Wow's first album? Uh, Beware the Dog. Mm-hmm. I bought that I album said for two bow wow. Wow. You, you just, just don't, don't know. know The way and you move so <laughs> fast Across the floor I mean oh. you run through my mind Like all the time To the point Where I just Run and take you home That nigga, had, so pup- so that nigga had Puppy love on that That shit so was dope. Bro that nigga had a song About one the ghetto girl That shit was so funny Ghetto with girl <laughs> Hi boys I, I'm talk- I made a face When he said that But I know all of these songs Cause yeah. I was obsessed Ooh I speak that was my first concert, y'all. He what, had came. He had came to Birmingham. I had to be in first grade. First grade. Oh, so your mama had to go with you? She sure did. My name is here. Stood me, stood me up on the chair. I was yeah, in that bitch. <laughs> bouncing me, bouncing me. That beat was so fire. <laughs> that beat was fire as hell. It's still fire. It's that still was his first fire. concert ever. In Birmingham? No, ever. That oh. was his first concert. Damn. That was his first concert? 
That's crazy. Shout out to Birmingham. Look at me. Look at Taylor being a part of history. Wait, damn. No, nah, it ain't hip hop. Um, it's it's Yo, Sammy. Um, I like. It ain't hip-hop. I like that. That ain't hip-hop. Well, see, y'all, knowing John, we was that age, knowing that was your son, that's some wild shit, bro. <laughs> John used to be an That's not hip-hop. Church. I feel like hip-hop and R&B that intersect ain't. in so many ways. Mm-hmm. First of all, in order for hip-hop to be a thing, R&B had to exist. Like, soul had to exist. So, Because the premise of it was sampling R&B songs or, you know, funk music. So, are they? Is it not hip hop? Is that not hip hop? I think that would be well R and B. That song would be one of those songs Sammy? that intersect. That's with like uh, rap. Is it that beat? R and B. Rap R and B. Okay. That'd be R and B. Probably yeah. It would. I think it it, it, it falls into that yeah. space. I don't know. I I don't really like uh, hip hop R and B like that for real for real. It be it get kind of muddled, too rapish, too rapish. Mm-hmm. So you don't like Bryson Tiller. You I like the first like album, the but I don't like nothing after the first album. Pen Griffey. I don't like nothing after the first album. No. Him and Black kind of disappointed me. I will after agree. The first album. I will agree. Those are two artists that had a big like like the inflation at the beginning, and then they just. Fills it out. They just didn't live up to what we thought. They, I, I won't say that about black completely. Mm-hmm. But for sure, Bryson. Bryson Tiller, yeah, Bryson Tiller kind of fell off super hard. Well, it's probably because he probably started getting another bag. He called himself Penn Griffey. So obviously he was writing the, he I been mean, writing music. I would rather do. do that too though. So black was a writer too. Mm-hmm. Like even to this day, if I could, I would be a songwriter. Like if I could, if if I when that time comes, that's gonna I be. I could write a song. Yeah, that shit easy, man. Once you get a a, a topic, then. I made a C in songwriting. Huh? I made a C in songwriting. Oh, you took the class at Troy. Damn, you suck. Trash. Yeah, what your song was about? I don't even remember at this point. Nigga, you remember you? I was just floating through. through you remember? I ain't gonna hold you. I was just floating through school. Mm. I hated that that music program. I don't. Yeah, it's at a PWI. I went to Huffman. See, black band kids are weird. White band kids are even weirder. Yeah, they are. Mm. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> black band kids be like. Like we different, but we still a products couple, of our environment. A couple notches away from giving them a widget on cool for no reason. We we <laughs> weird, but wait. like <laughs> we still products of our environment. So like we be passing the vibe check for the most part. The white folks. I was miserable. Yeah, he was in a white band. I was in Detroit. I was in Detroit music. Everything. Damn, so you was on the color guard. No, that's what I was they used to do with black folks. I was not in the, <laughs> in the color guard. So I, so it, it, bam. so <laughs> 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 weak, bro. Yeah, no, shout out to the color guard. But yo, back to the. We didn't got all the way out. What's what's he talking about? Twenty one seven. So, what y'all rate him at in his class of rappers? Kodak. Lil Baby, 21. Who else? Uh, Lil Durk. Uh, uh, what's the boy that can't never rap on beat? The light skin one from Chicago. G Herbo. <laughs> what well, y'all rate him? Y'all see he got off with his probation. Good for him. Where do we yeah, rate him? Yeah, I thought he was going to the slammer. I ain't going to Five years. I thought they were going to hook his ass up. I thought he was going to the slammer for real. I, did, I think he did too. He was spinning out. Mm-hmm. Crashing out. Um, I mean, I don't I don't know how you want to rate that. Like on a scale of one to ten, like in order. I don't even remember the names you just said. Little baby, <laughs> baby one savage. Baby's number one. Little baby, young boy, Kodak, Dirt. It's probably going to be a poll. This is not my wheelhouse. Mm. 
not my wheelhouse. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go and give it to. I'm gonna say, young boy, twenty one, little baby, the baby, bro, twenty one. Above. The baby is above Lil Dirt. Yeah, when it come to rapping, the baby can't rap his ass off. He got the same flow, but he can rap his ass off. Mm-hmm. Wordplay wise, there really I, don't be no wordplay with them niggas. Though. So I don't know. So I the baby, hold on. He, the he baby has wordplay. Word the baby give you wordplay. Name a name a baby ball. Didn't the he rap baby? on that book? Bu- the baby. I don't fucking know. I can't I remember, bro. He was on that Busta Rhymes TV. So what? Uh, but Bust and Ryan that ghetto bitches on um, song he did he yeah. remixed yeah with uh with uh sexy sexy young yeah. the shit what he did with Megan so did I feel like he gives wordplay I feel like that's what's like the premise of, of the baby he gives a little what's your definition of wordplay a pun there's a pun in the in the words that's mm. that's literally what wordplay is you're giving puns mm. your your words are playing upon one another. You give a little bit of that. No? Yeah. This is, again, this is not my wheelhouse. Mm-hmm. But I do know a little something about music. Mm. Am I wrong? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Introduced to the stage, Booker T. <laughs> nah, you don't look like Booker T. Yeah, nah. I'm coming for you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the most prolific moments in wrestling. Get yeah, me no. out the Heat Man Women Haters Club. Damn. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> she went platinum. I'm gonna rap this shit. Damn. She went platinum, John. So, John, what's your, who you think? What you got, John? 21 on top. He got the best albums out of all of them. He sure do most consistent albums, too. But Kodak can be up there in the top two for real, for real. Because Kodak really, really be spit. Yes. Yeah, he he and on features wise, too. Big fact. And he a young nigga. Like, of all those people, like, him and, uh, what's that boy? Young, young boy, young boy, they Gen Zers. Yep. Everybody else is. That's why they shout out like that. Young boy got a lot of That's albums, but I can't. And the quality don't be. Yeah, cause he he went crazy last year on all the albums, shit like Big that fact. for real, and run up on YouTube. True facts. That's another. Shout out to Twenty One. Twenty One. Nicki Minaj dropped another deluxe. This time she just dropped one song with Future. She just left that shit alone. In, a, in addition to the deluxe, she just added that song on. Oh, okay. She's trying to figure it out, man. Okay. It's about staying relevant, my nigga. TTO, that's why. <laughs> she's trying, she trying to stay on the toes. Yeah. Quick, I know it's kind of early in the show, but we're going to go on running like that. So I'm going uh, to run with. I'm going to run with. Um, this going to be D. Kelly. I'm going to play D. Kelly. Uh, groovy. I played it on the last part. You did at the end. Yeah. Play it again. Run it. Shout out to D. Kelly. Mother hammer brother. <laughs> <laughs> ye, 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 ye. And we're going to be right back after this. And that was uh, D. Kelly with Groovy. On oh, my mama, that big Groovy. And you heard that here first on the Good Players Podcast. I don't know when D. Kelly going to drop music. But D. Kelly, if you listen to this, this episode, episode, drop the goddamn, goddamn music, bro. I made I a post, post on Facebook, Facebook the other day, and I said, said for real, for real, real. I won't say this publicly, D. Kelly is my favorite rapper. Because, like, like, growing, growing up, up, we used, we used to, to have, like, a little rap group there saying D. Kelly. And nobody was rapping their ass off like D. Kelly. D. Kelly was saying bars that other niggas weren't saying. Then, then that, that nigga's just saying now, now like, like back, back in the G. Like, like, I, I even stole a couple of D Killer bars and songs. I said them in like freestyle sessions or something like that. But then I always reference back to that was a D Killer bar. So shout out to my nigga D Killer. Shout out to Dayton. He here. He had his son. That's why he had good from the show. Like, he was one of the hosts. He uh, had his little boy. I think he just wanted to be like. like this is his first son. He's been, been praying for his son. son. And he had five kids in. So he's like, it's my last one. Hey! That shit don't work. And, and it's over with. God, this is a nigga prayer. So I ain't even mad. 
Yeah, yeah man. man. Shout out to him, man. Shout, Shout out to the kid. D. Kelly, you ugly as hell. I should. I should. John, John, what, what you, you say about, about D. Kelly? What? What you call D. Kelly? On my hammerhead, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to rest the I don't. I don't want to smoke with him. <laughs> I don't. He gonna send your ass up out of here. All right. So before we left, we was talking about um, Tizo touchdown album. It's a pretty. To me, that's a fire album, especially for alternative music. He um, I like the fact that he got subject matter on each song. And the production be good, like especially if you was like, like a, a, if, if you, you listen, listen to like MTV, MTV if you watch MTV, MTV when you was younger, younger, or your mama went, went in a certain, certain store so much that, that you can't help but learn to play this. They was playing in them. Like, like my mom used to go to Stein Hour all the time. He's played the hell out of Luther Vandross and Kenny G and everything. Nigga, this time hell no. I know what you talking about. Yeah, shout out to Stein Hour. But I heard this shit in years. Say what? I heard this shit in years. I don't even think that still exists. No, they, they want to be the same time, time Richards did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shut, shut up. up. Yeah. But, yo, man, Tizo touchdown. I feel like he gonna win alternative oh, album of the year at the Grammys. Kid Cudi have dropped another album. DJ Drama on this one. He mm-hmm. can't yeah, win you on the beginning album of the year at the Grammys this year. I mean next year. Next year. Next year. Next year. Next year. It's, it's so, so much content, content that can come out between now and then. Hey, when the bar is set so high, music is so mediocre right now. It don't. Bro, you I got Kanye you, and like um, Ty Dolla Sign album dropping on the 19th. Allegedly. It was supposed to drop on the 31st. Then they moved it to the 12th. You know, I fuck with Kanye, but he, he an asshole on yeah, some shit. Fact. Just drop it. What well, album y'all looking to come out this year? What album y'all looking to hear from? Smina. Smina? Always. I love Smina. What you mean? Okay, so we was talking about wordplay earlier mm-hmm. and puns. That mm-hmm. is the king. Oh, everything. Man, no boy said, uh, I, I want the cradle in your box. box. What he said? A bunch of shit. Hope, Hope your daddy, daddy don't step, step out of line, line if I cradle in your box. box. The nigga <laughs> said a bunch of shit. He yeah. said, it's, it's so, so much, it's just too, too much to consume. What's your favorite Smino song? My favorite Smino song? Mm-hmm. I don't think I got one. You don't? Because I would sit here and say Anita. Mm. And then I say Amphetamine. My Netflix and chill. Amphetamine, Amphetamine is all shit. Is it Netflix, Netflix and Duce? Netflix and Duce. Close enough. Yeah. You know what I was talking about. Buckethead ass. Come to the stage tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Buckethead ass. AKA, AKA put, put out, out fire. fire. Okay, okay book of two. What? I don't know. What? I don't know. The, the camera, camera people? people? No, 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 the light on the close up. Like, this is good. Oh, yeah, it do that. It do that on the other. Yeah, man. So, Smino. Yeah. Shout out to Smino. Shout out to Smino. And who else? I want to say Jasmine Sullivan. This is because she's done a lot of stuff in the last year. I, I feel, feel like, like a lot of times, times I just put, put that shit in the music. Mm. And, and she, she never, never misses, misses so. But, but she, she lost her mom and her grandma. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I wish I could have been at a hole and console her during that time of her life. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie yeah, Sullivan in the one, bro. Oh, God. God. She she I picked her like eyes of her when, when I, I seen, seen her perform Loving, loving you. you. I forgot what I was either in. Dallas or I was in. Chicago, oh, bro, that's, that's what she, she was, was like. like. Chunky, like, Jesus, that thing is so fine. She fine guy sometimes. sometimes. She fine though. Hey, look, sweat coming out of your head. You think about her? Oh, everything coming you out your pores. <laughs> <laughs> you <all> freaky. <laughs> nah, she, she, she definitely her. Jamie Sullivan, her. Um. This y'all, I know, if you listen to the podcast or you just know me in general, I feel like Big Sean is now almost off the clock. He on the clock now, but it's about to be like, all right, next. Big Sean. He ain't been studying music. When they about to drop something. 
Yeah, how your girl put out my music than you? So, what's it called? Sunshine? This old chakra oh, lining ass, ass nigga, nigga take, take it forever, bro. bro. He had me happy. Yeah. Kendrick got mad. Bad and fucked. Hmm? Bad and fucked. He don't need nothing else. And, and he got, got a son. He got a son now. And, and you see how your homeboy got a son and dip. This nigga got a son. You know niggas want a son. They be like, I'm cool. If they call him. I'm, I'm not, out. I'm not hiding the, my son from the world, finding my world from, from the, the sun. sun. <laughs> what? I'm hiding the world from my son. Shout out to Big Sean. Nah, Fred, that nigga on the clock. I got Big Sean, Schoolboy Q. Um, I'm going to even go local. I'm going to put, put Butch on, on the clock. I'm going to put Sean on the clock. How about a shot? I'm gonna put. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I'm shy. I just thought about that. That nigga was drunk. Well, nah. He had that little uh, shit going on. So yeah. I just thought about that. But still. I was gonna I call now, him. I just thought about that. Now. Yeah. He is on the clock. Yeah. Uh, Who else I wanna hear from? Chris Style on the clock. For sure. I know how your T's feel like that nigga overrated. I ain't said that. Well, T's definitely used to say yeah, he was overrated. Hey, you gonna put muscles in my head jacket in there, guys? Don't be scared, man. It ain't scared. No, I'm not scared. Stand on all ten to the toenail oh. pop off now. I'm gonna send uh, this one to him. Right. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put. Uh. Uh. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put Bam on there. Yeah, I was about to say that. Bam on the clock. And I want to hear from uh, OMB. P Peasy. OMB Peasy. Mm. Yeah. yeah. On the clock. Lil, Lil Baby, baby on, the on the clock. Cause Lil, Lil Baby, baby keep dropping this. He dropping yeah, every, every song, song keeps sounding the same. Come on, what are you doing, man, bro? I'm not gonna get up with you. And the little shit you did with um feature you did with Buster Rhymes. I said Lil Baby. Oh, Lil Baby. Oh, it is over with for John. I never really, I never really cared for little baby like that. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, you I went ain't, to but town on that nigga. You never cared for little baby. I mean, I liked his um his mixtape. What had um the, what hard to kill? Yeah. Other than that, no, I never really cared for little baby. Now I do like the features he did. He do with Money Bad. Let me just always slap yeah. me. I want to see him and Money Man. I want to hear him and Money Man do a Money project Man? together. Ba- little baby and money man. Little baby use money man flow all the time. That's mm-hmm. how you know he listened to him. Yeah, I like at first. I didn't. I didn't. I, thought, I didn't like to listen to money man at first. Yeah, I thought it, I ain't care for him either. But then he be preaching. Yeah, like when you listen to him, he fire. Like he puts you on to how to make money outside of just a regular nine to five. To be an LLC. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then, then later on, he might tell you what the LLC entail. Should yeah, entail yeah, yeah. in order to be successful. Facts. That's all I got. You have to come up with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas don't never know shit. <laughs> you ever you ever thought a song was your song till you wrapped it in the club and you ain't know the words? I still don't know Meek Mills. Oh my Dream god. Chase. I don't know. What is it? Nightmare? I, I don't know the words. Bro, that's, that's a Negro spiritual. Oh god. <laughs> that's up there before I let go. Yeah. I don't know the words. After that very first. Damn, you don't know. Hold on, wait a minute. minute. That's that's after, that. Hold on, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished. When I went to Aston Martin, <laughs> y'all thought it was. I don't know. She lied, bro. She wild, bro. She about to be fire already. I don't know it. Stamp your black card for that. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I can kiss you my a, ass. You need to put a punch in that on that. What you say, kaputs? <laughs> Out of here. <laughs> I don't know it. And, and I'm not ashamed. And I will tell y'all that I don't, I don't know, know it. it. And, and I'll be in the club. club. And, and I'll sing it. And I'll let everybody know around me. I don't know the words, y'all. They don't know the words either. That's one song when you drunk, you just got to know the words of that shit. I know the words before I let go. Yeah, it's babies. It's kids that's like 13 and old. That song going to be around in 100 more years. Bad that ass up, that dreams and nightmares. How'd you now? Huh? Mm-hmm. 
That's you with that big body being, huh? Hell nah. That ain't no classic like that. That ain't one of them. No, that's not. The little kids don't know that. We know that. That ain't one of them. The little kids don't know that. That was on back that ass about another 400 degrees. But that song ain't got no fucking juvenile back that ass of impact, though, bro. How they had it? No. Is you crazy? Is you crazy? That's track number two, bro. You not had the most hard to track number two, but if you play that in high school right now, Huh? They, they would know how. how. <laughs> if you play that at a high school right now, bro, they have them kids not rapping that shit, man. They're not. Right, if you play bad that ass Fantasia. up right now, that when I see you, on oh my mama, bro. The kids is is they not rapping that. Right. Right. Okay, y'all got it. Y'all yeah, got it. They're not rapping that. They're in there. When I see you, my cousin DJ, DJ at middle school, homecoming. And the kids were sitting there word for word. That and um, I, I should have cheated or love. Like love. Yeah. Word yeah. for fucking word. I'm like, love. Love. Yeah. Never knew what I was. <laughs> 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 See, you got all the dreams and nightmares. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> let me know why you flunk music right now. Damn. Damn. Shit. Dang. Dang. It was song right. And coming to the stage, ladies and gentlemen, dreams and nightmares. <laughs> Get your bag of quarters ready. You be not that. I wasn't going to class. You out. I wasn't going to class. You out. I wasn't going to class. They asked you what your cash out. Niggas ain't trying to make more on time. Yeah, but then they'll be like, I ain't got no service in here right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you when I get done. I'm going to holler at you before I do. Yeah. Big facts. I've been that hard boy one time. Get to the door like, bro. Pay me one pay. I definitely did that one time. Shout out to everybody. Yeah, Woo! I don't I know why I'm out of breath and I ain't doing shit but sit here. I'm, I'm black mild to tell my ass. Hey, that, that boy, boy Drake, Drake in the tone. tone. What you <laughs> said? <laughs> what you <laughs> said, <laughs> John? <laughs> Nothing. With my bro? <laughs> 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 I got the bro. I can't make your bro from up here, bro. I was about to say, damn, that shit going platinum. Drake in the tomb built to himself in Canada before he died. He had a lady actually curse all the items that's going in there. So if somebody break in the tomb and steal it, they gone. That's fine. He put a room in there with 21 set for 21 set. That's fine. That's a real King Tut. Real that's, that's some real shit. shit. That's I fine. fuck with it. It's fine. Fuck it. We got money. Let's spin it. What, what you would do if you had that much money? I'd probably build a tomb too. I would too. The fuck? I already plan on like building a house that's like up in the air, like a water. Oh, uh, the water thing. What's the point of having money if 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 you just don't flip it? Like if you can't remind motherfuckers, motherfuckers, motherfuckers once you gone, who the fuck, fuck you is? That you had yeah. fucking bread. You, you was, was that motherfucker. motherfucker. Hey. Oh, hey. Uh, happy Luther King. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> Jonathan <laughs> Majors J. <laughs> what y'all doing? Oh, we should have said that at the beginning. What are you doing? I done got drunk. Oh, I'm sorry. I said I was gonna do the podcast. What y'all doing for Jonathan Majors Day? Bro, we're not gonna disrespect Martin Luther King. Nah, that's a title. She got on that. Oh, God, she, she got, got on that. Bro. What is y'all <laughs> doing? This nigga wild, bro. How, How dare you? And make a good goofy ass in there. Hold on. I gotta move from behind the mic. She watching the interview. She just like. Bro, they look like they acting 100% of the time. It's 100% of the act, though. Why are they together? Up from from day nine nine white girls. First, First of all, I don't think he's had very many black women before. Yeah, you seen that nigga pose one? Pre money? Yeah, very pubescent. What the mean? Puberty. Very early 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> with that lasagna roll. Uh, <laughs> what I, I said, get me out the he man woman having club. <laughs> Get me out of here. We don't hate women. We love, we don't don't hate women. Bitches. We love women. Look. Yeah. Shut up. Big coochies, little coochies, all coochies matter. All coochies matter. Fuck. Shit, that could be a title right there, too. But nah, we ride with that Jonathan Major shit. Yeah. <laughs> we ride with Yo, that. I do, feel, I do feel a way about him telling a white woman that he wanted Coretta Scott King. Like, you can't. Yeah, you dropped the ball on that yeah, dog. Yeah, bro. That's like asking Not only was she white, she was foreign. She's not even American. You asking somebody who don't even... Identify. Identify or understand to be something she can't be. She got that Yugoslavia in So... She's hooked like Like I said, beast. he wasn't dating black women anyways. Who? Yeah. He wasn't dating black women. You can tell. You can tell how he was in that interview, bro. Bro ain't fuck no sex or red. Never in his life. I mean, ain't he from Texas or you Louisiana? Mean he, ain't, he ain't fuck no he, hood bitch. He ain't fuck the hood oh. bitch. Nah, he ain't. I ain't try to use the beat word, but. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. We don't mean no Bitch is a term of endearment. It depends yeah. who you talking to. I love bitches. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Do y'all feel earlier in the interview, most Def said that he feel like Drake is pop music. He is pop. Pop is literally the definition of it's popular music. Do you feel like it's a sound or a culture? Both. It's an it's the thing about pop is it 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 shifts. It's an adaptable sound. I don't agree with that. We talked about that on here before. Really? I think pop is a sound. Pop in two thousand and pop today. Not the same sound. Right. So I feel like that's why it should not be categorized as such. Like it should be this nigga just like so uh, he's a he's a he do hip hop. Mm-hmm. No, he do rap. Mm-hmm. He do rap. Like rap is like I would consider like Twenty One Savage them to be like rappers. I would consider niggas like Kendrick Cole niggas with a purpose to be hip hop artists because. They try to convey a certain message in the raps. So it's like that makes sense. But. Okay. Pop I, music to me is like Britney Spears, Madonna. Uh, I, even, okay, even, but we even don't w- live in that day. So what's pop music even, now today? E- today, pop music, I feel like don't exist. Lie. Because the sound, to me, the sound is old Disney. WZZK, like shit like that when we was younger. Like Doja Cat is pop. Mm. I love Doja Cat. I don't agree with that. She not R&B and she not I rap. Love. So what is she? They used to say Michael Jackson was the king of pop and this nigga he clearly is. made R&B music dead ass. He made song. pop music too. He made pop music too. Well, I don't really Look at his billboard on the, mo- on the shit. We got top on his billboard. It's pop. Cause, cause pop is literally the definition. It's popular music, so like it might be heavily influenced by a certain genre or a certain sound at the time, but it's still popular music. Okay, when I think so, of pop, I think of Nelly Furtado, like that sound she had with Timberland. But you're still, you're not in the, you're not in the date. You're not here. I'm Come to two thousand and twenty four, nigga. Two thousand and twenty four. I would consider pop to be. Do a Lipa. Justin Bieber. Right. I would not consider Justin Bieber to be pop if we want to talk about it like that. DJ Khaled. Like that. Popular music, yes. But who he be having on his beats? Rappers. Over pop beats. Are they? It depends on the song. Oh. I'm kind of losing at this <laughs> argument right now. You are. But I know what I'm trying to say, though. No. Little Nas X is it's a pop. rapper. He's a rapper. But he is a pop, pop artist. No, he got a budget behind him. That don't mean she make, you make pop music. That means everything, bro. He not. Most of his Ariana pop. Grande. Pop. Pop. Her R&B sound pop. singer. What? Fuck she make pop music. Here. She make pop music. That's an R&B singer. That's Mariah Carey in 2024. No, bro, don't disrespect Mariah Carey. Bro. That is not disrespectful. That's disrespectful. She got the same range. She literally has the same amount. Of, all right. All right. My bad. Excuse me. What make you say that, though? I, I ain't Ariana Grande just... is a fucking singer. 
She can sing her ass off. But we the bitch about- has range. Her pen game is also quite lovely. She got some good writers too. She got a good team. Mariah had a good team. I'm 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 seeing a lot of parallelisms here. Rihanna make pop music. Rihanna makes pop music. Yeah, that song SOS was a pop song. Beyonce that make pop music. Like- no. She do. No. She got pop music. Cap. Before I let go. That is R and B, bro. <sighs> That is, they played it on. That's R and B. But they played it on pop session. That's R and B. Would you would you label Earth, Wind, and Fire as R and B? I mean, made it's house, pop music. She made a house album. House music is not pop. Crazy That's in love. House music, R and B. They played it on pop stations. It don't make it pop. Drake Tootsie Slide. <laughs> they got they got rap. pop. That's rap. That's He's pop. a touchdown on here on pop. He is pop. You just called him alternative. That's the same. That's pretty That's much like the, the same. That's not the same. Part. So that Tissy Slide one pop. No. That was a rap song, bro. That was in the vein. The nigga like, had a dance and everything for it. Right. Cha Cha Slide did too. That ain't pop. It can be. That's picnic. They really need to make picnic music a genre. <laughs> it can yeah, be. Yeah, rap. <laughs> Emmy and music for real, though. Nicki Minaj. She pop. A lot and of that's her a, was That's pop. a real ass rapper, too. Yeah. But With she, some real ass she, fucking bars. She popped to sleep, though. What you think about Scissor then? Oh, her last album. That's a pop R&B. artist. That's a pop that, that's alternative. girl. That's alternative. She's a pop girl, okay? Her shirt is an R and B song. Snooze. Snooze an R and B song. Okay. You think Snooze an R and B song? Mm-hmm. Okay. Back. Hey. Well, Jordan, her album R and B. So I ain't gonna lie, like she bought it. She bought her exes on that song when she was rapping. And the country song that she had on there was fire. Shout out to Sizzle. Shout out to Sizzle. But I definitely think that pop music is um is not popular music. I think it's a specific sound in my book. I ain't saying y'all wrong. I ain't saying I'm right. <laughs> I just believe in what I believe in. Is Usher pop music? Yeah. Oh my God. That's pop. You been biased now. This <laughs> now you been biased. I'm just saying. Oh my God, with Will, with yes, Will I am is definitely. But pop. He, he came out as an R&B artist. Make me. Usher, you you right. push over the bro. You push over the pop bro to make more money. So y'all saying transfer. Michael Jackson first album off the wall is a pop album? No, but I'm I'm saying to you is this is that you may start off as a rapper, but once you cross over, you get into a different genre. You make more money. You get more grandma. Like, for instance, on um, Lil Wayne. When he did, what, that Prong Queen album? That's rock music. But he got but he got look at that. is a rock album. Too. But at the same time as that, that's rock music, but he got more Grammy nominations and awards when he crossed over on that rock album. You're right, bro. You can get more a couple of days. Yeah. Whatever for it. If you cross over and do a song like that. Lizzo before. is a pop artist. Nelly. They, um, that's a country song. Over and over, over and over again. Yeah, they, um, what, that that McGraw. album was on sweatsuit. Suit. Yeah, Y'all I can't take. Yep, I can't shake it. On bootleg, at the beauty supply store. Big fact. Actually, I'm sorry, the beauty shop, because the man used to come in there with the plates and the CDs. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, buying you know you in the hood now. My nigga with that combo. <laughs> That's a wild combo. He selling plates and CDs. He said, "You know CDs. you in the hood." Y'all remember? Y'all the remember nigga? the dude? Oh, Hong Kong. He's got a DVD player. <laughs> what you was about to get to that? Bro, he used to have everything. Oh, everything, bro. Going platinum. Nigga had everything. And he had to put up a DVD right in front of your place. Right, face. so you can make sure that it yeah. worked. Yeah, shout out to him. Um, pick the world up. I, I'm gonna drop I, it. Yeah. Sorry, it's just stuck in my head. Go ahead. Because okay. we on pop, name three rappers that's pop artists. Drake. Doja. Nicki Minaj. Okay. Jack Har- Har- Oh, no, fuck. Jack Harlow. He's definitely a rapper. He's definitely a pop artist. He's definitely a rapper. He got a lot of pop songs, Jack Harlow. You got to look at there is that some of them hits they make, that shit made for pop. But it don't sound pop, though. To me, it don't sound pop. I think you're missing the point of popular music. No, y'all saying what's 
hip, like what everybody it's owns. Literally, what pop to is to me, though. pop is a sound. No, no, it's not. To me, pop it is for trending, basically. Pop is popular music. American popular culture is the culture of the world. A song that every culture is going, every race is going to like for real. So think about those music, that music that people are listening to in the UK. Think about the music that people are listening to in South Africa. So think Afro of, beats is pop. It's, it's definitely some Afro beats that are considered pops. I guarantee you it's a David O song that's on the pop charts right Fucking now. I Man, guarantee you, what's crazy. that boy named Wizkid? It's a Wizkid song. It is. On the so pop Essence, chart. Drake. Essence, Essence Drake. is pop. One dance. That's a pop song. Essence is pop. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. He's sick right now. Hurt. He's, fuck. He's sick. COVID. Hurt. We're not saying hurt. that these songs. COVID. He we're hurt right we're now. not saying that these songs don't exist in their perspective genres. But they have transcended into popular culture, and they are now pop songs. That's wild. I'm sorry. That's literally what pop Highline is. Highline Bling One. That's why. It's a rap song. No. It's pop. Y'all niggas retarded. Mm-hmm. I'm going to bleep that out. Mm-hmm. Please, because that's, um, yeah. To me, that ain't even no insulting word. Like, I mean, that's fine, but do you exist in that space to be able to call it uninsulting? Depending on what I'm doing. You on the spectrum? Retarded? For sure. So. Please cut that out. Cut all of that out. Nigga get nigga retarded. Nigga, you talking about nigga get get retarded. Yeah, Not, get, nigga get retarded. Retarded. <laughs> retarded. Retarded. That <laughs> no. You can't use that word though. It's offensive to people on the spectrum. Who? If we think about it, the people that's on that spectrum, they don't even know we talking about them. Why don't they? Technically. They're not dumb. The average with the helmet. You think it. There's two different levels there. No, right? bro. You that's the ultimate level. Most of the time, people who exist on the spectrum who have these like learning disabilities are social. They're socially inept or however you want to word it. They're IAP actually game. quite intelligent people. I'm intelligent. <laughs> Slow it in the motherfucker. <laughs> they tried. They tried to hit me with that. With the Rico. I told y'all he had to lead the class. You had to go take the test in the other room. Bro, too smart. The, the resource center. I'm smart. I'm. I'm. <laughs> smart. Ah, she put me the resource officer. <laughs> Why they call him a resource officer? Like they ain't gonna take you to jail or something. <laughs> it was because they had extra resources. Uh, they I, had to test in that bitch. I wanted to go in there. They give you all the answers too. I was I was about to start naming football players. I know it was in the resource class. Shout a out lot to of y'all, a lot of them. You Use know. the term remedial, Daryl. Huh? That's a better word. Remedial. remedial yeah, I'm remedial. <laughs> you know what, what that mean? <laughs> you retarded. <laughs> Oh my oh. god! Delete all. Oh. When up. I said they delete all of that shit, delete yeah. all of that shit. Delete all of that shit. Like we need to delete the whole Rome. Italy had a thousand whites marching to honor none other than the neo Nazi culture. Did y'all see that video? No, no, I didn't see that. They definitely had a thousand white people marching in the street. I mean, that doesn't that doesn't amaze me. That Showing their allegiance. Crazy things happen all the time. No, it's it's it is, but at the same time, y'all want to go to war with Israel, America paying for a Ukraine war. We ain't even agree for our tax dollars to go there. And then now you got these stupid ass whites. Like, I think crackers only exist in America. We got to figure out what to call them beyond America, because <laughs> the crackers is the dirty whites that just. Crazy. Or the pink fingertips. Pink. <laughs> the mayonnaise warriors is the way you want to call it. You said mayo warrior. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> you so agile. You see how he got under that mic like this? <laughs> he brought it around town. <laughs> <laughs> like a spike ball. Bring it around town. <laughs> you know he got a little, little extra plushness. Agile, you be stretching, you can do yoga. Uh, 
No, nah, but I meditate though. See, I said I wasn't gonna drink because I listen to myself on the podcast and I'd be talking so sloppy. Sloppy? Sloppy as hell. I'd be on there be like, oh, you know what I'm saying, bro. I don't wanna sound like that no more. I I don't know about I I'm not amazed when I see people in different cultures like doing things that the people that look like them did here, you know? Mm. I think the difference is it's just more of us here. Mm-hmm. It, it, and so in places where there's more of us, it sounds more absurd to us. But when when there aren't that many faces that look like us in those spaces, you're not thinking nothing about that. There, there's nothing, there's no one pushing the envelope. There's no one telling them, you're wrong. So no, that doesn't surprise me. That's why people tell you you shouldn't travel to certain countries if you look like this. That's crazy. Shout out to Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Dirt ass should have never been over here. Child raping, butthole loving, genocide ass nigga. He ain't even honorable enough to be addressed as nigga. All y'all that was out there on that thousand man march, y'all some hoes. Y'all come to Birmingham with that shit. Niggas ain't gonna do nothing but get on Facebook and go live. Oh my god! But I don't fuck with y'all though. That shit was corny. See, that's why I don't get drunk right here. Y'all remember the KKK? Um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Everybody have rally. The KKK rally they tried to have um, when we were younger. In oh, Lampard? yeah. It was this dude named James Latham. He was spitting at them. I went to elementary <laughs> school with him. <laughs> James Latham was out there Shout out to James Latham. James Latham. I wonder what James Latham doing now. Is he black? Yeah. <laughs> he was one of them loud-ass black kids, too, like all the time. Like this nigga was like Carlos Chavez? Yeah. He was that in the <laughs> second grade, though. Second grade. He used to argue with teachers, fight, and all that crazy shit. What the fuck? Shout out to James Latham, man. But yeah, man, that's all I got, bro. Oh, do we gotta talk about the old boy? Um, the oh yeah, Charles man, the what is his name, murder. bro? Jason. So I'm waiting. Let me see. Attempted murder. Bro, with the brother that turned the Superman, jumped over the over the. I was gonna say, <laughs> he went WWE in yeah. the courtroom. That nigga flew over the. That nigga ran track. You fit? He jumped over the hurdle. The way he hit that hurdle. Wasn't even the hurdle. That was the high jump. You ever seen how high them? them, them yeah, yeah. That's why I said that wasn't the hurdle. That was a high jump. He hit the high jump on and the head. He ass. cleared her ass out. Where was it, Cheryl? That's one wonder. I done seen Judge Judy too many times, bro. And Judge Mathis, he always he moved Cheryl. So quick. Right there. But he shouldn't. Even the Cheryl be right near there. It was an old nigga. It was an old nigga. He couldn't keep up with that fast young nigga. Well, I, I, burned <laughs> <laughs> I burned the fife motherfucker. Yeah, I burned the fife in the <laughs> Nah, that fucked that. up. Yeah. Nah, that fucked up. But I say that. Nah, nah shout out Burner Five. Nah, that fucked up. But I say hey, that. y'all know I was like uh, a couple weeks old when I figured out last couple weeks ago when I found out that Andy Griffin was Matlock. I never even thought about but it. I never watched the show like You're that. I know the character. Hmm? She's from Alabama. I ain't surprised. He looked like he was one of them racist white. They'll probably fuck black women against their will. Oh. What's y'all dating life look like? <laughs> Trash can city. You been on no dates? Mm-mm. You been on no dates? Yeah, yeah. Sure. But I do have one, one woman. Don't say too much. That I've been talking to for a minute. Mm-hmm. And I kind of been... Not the best on my end, but at the same time, she understands the hustle mm. Right. Mm. of a um, up and coming entrepreneur. So she still rocking with me. I mean, I did wait when I caught her my boogie bell like what two weeks ago. Jura got a boogie bell. Now nah, fuck her. Hell no. Nah. I take that back. Damn, damn. I'm taking that privilege back. She was your boogie bell two weeks yeah. ago, bro. Had that name tag on that now. <laughs> Snitching that shit off. Hell no. Fuck up on that. He snatched it off, y'all. He. Ah! He tried to the logo up. 
Yeah. Uh, you ain't pressed the uh, <laughs> press the thing enough for the love of the yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> you talking about <laughs> you talking about um, when you prime it? Yeah, you, you prime put it back to choke. <laughs> snatching that shit off. I'm snatching that shit off like T.I. did with on uh, Nunu. Give my chain <laughs> back. Give me, Give me my necklace. Give me something to me. Give me my necklace. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Fuck babe. that. Huh? What's the nigga you just blocked? I didn't block you didn't no block nigga. You ignoring the nigga. I'm going to unpack that with my therapist, but I ghosted someone. I, I stood someone up. And I have no real explanation to why. Do you think ghosting is uh, Um, I think that I'm emotionally unavailable and I probably shouldn't be dating. Did you tell him and that? And when things look okay or promising or like I can fuck them up, I think in order to not do so, I just disappear. Did you tell him you that? Don't fuck, nigga. Wait, did you tell him that? Did you not hear me say ghost? No, like, did you tell him like you're emotionally no, niggas don't want to. That's not a conversation that is had initially. Like niggas is not if like. You, see are the thing you is that available? no, like see, no, that need to be asked. If you that's ha- definitely stuff that needs to be asked, and I feel like somewhere that space should be created to be able to have that conversation. But I think the other reason that happens for me, or I do those things, is because that space doesn't exist. Like I don't feel the comfort to be like, I like you. But, but I got anxiety, depression, <laughs> and all these other things. That the stallion crack. And all these other things that have to be dealt with. And it's so scary to have to put those things on another person. You know? So I, I, really ask, you, I them, ask you like that for real if I'm getting to talk to somebody or whatever. Well, it was very early on. I'm no. not going to hold y'all. Do y'all get scared off by somebody that get clean get early? No, we love being. <laughs> let me this not, ain't a relationship podcast, so we ain't gonna delve to too people. deep into that. We love being love bomb. I don't think you like me if you don't love bomb me. I definitely ghosted a uh, a ten piece. Why well, you I thought ghosted. she was too? She nah, was too but tough. she was too much for me. What you mean too much? Ghetto? Nah, nah, nah. I'll bleep this out. But come on, Lillian. Oh shit, man, bro, man, come on, crazy, bro. yeah. Crazy as fuck. Shot the fuck out. I don't got time for that type of shit. Like, the minute... Uh, I'm at a point in my life where the minute you showcase your talents in that setting, you're not going to Hollywood. That's not we... No, I got drunk. I think I got dumped like that. <laughs> and I you got, know what? That's crazy. That's the first time I got disrespected. And I said this one, the motherfucker really show you who they is. And me being me, I went right back. We so still like, be doing it, though. But he don't fuck with me no more. Lord. I'm finna put my elbow. Same thing I just said. Yeah, no, so I said fuck that. I'm just going. The baddies don't be worth the headache for real, for real. Some of them, yes. Some of them, yeah. Because, like, they rely on their looks a lot. But the ones that can't cook, can't do none of that shit, you don't see motherly um. What if I don't want to be a mother? Oh. I don't want to be a mother. And we don't need to be together because I want kids. There you go. That's yeah. another thing people need to start having discussions about. Do you want kids for real? Or do you want kids because you the image look society good. say yeah. you're supposed to have kids? Because the older I get, the less I'm on it. Oh, man, fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. That's why we still in this bitch right now because we ain't got no kids. What fuck the kids? Oh, my God. The kids. Slap. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That's all I got on the docket for the day, man. The who? Docket. I just said, don't get a damn. Oh, wait. Alabama Maybe got a sh- new coach. This wrong ain't the podcast for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. We, we got a whole pod. other podcast wrong for that. Sorry. Shout out to the Pink Playbook podcast. Young AG. I know she finna cut up. I can't wait. I can't wait to hear it. Yeah. Shout out to Young AG and the Pink Playbook podcast, man. But y'all got anything before we get out of here? Tell them where they can follow you at for the guys that want to follow you. Because we got a large male following, you know. Give them some eye candy. It ain't nothing on my Instagram. You know, Taylor. You sure don't. But you be on that story, though. I do be on the story. Um, you can follow me at Taylor Raven on all social media. Spell handles. your shit. You know, your mama was. 
Get our hood rag. <laughs> she would let it for the whole. Best I do or die. She's a real ghetto bitch. Um, <laughs> Taylor, T-A-Y-L-E-R-R-A-V-E-N. And then I had to throw an extra N on there because somebody took, I guess that. So somebody else named Taylor Raven too. And they ghetto. Thanks. Mm. They says, follow Taylor Raven. She one of our um, new co-hosts on the podcast. Hey. Y'all know T's in the killer. They doing their thing. So me and John still thugging. Now we got Taylor Hill. We got one more, probably. I don't know yet. We still in trials. Yeah. So man, if you made it to the end of this podcast, just know we three players talking about hip hop, the culture. That's all right. the right shit in bl- and all the right, right shit in, in between. between. Fact though, gang, gang, pow, pow. We out. <laughs> you hit right on time. Look at that. Car just got full. Look I'm doing this shit house. when I get home. Okay. Like that. You can do it with the audio, bro. Bro, I did it last time with the audio. On oh, April shit, it didn't have audio. Yes, I did. It was a split in three. Richard. It just didn't have it. Combi- I can find a combined download. Mm. That's why I look like that. Yeah, because I still can't log mm. into her shit again. Bro, that's like Teaser told me that I use unfiltered mm-hmm. because, like, when you put that cha cha slide shit like I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? I. Tr- I tr- when I do audio, I snatch straight off my roll caster. We were talking about he on the way an hour and a half ago. Baby, I'm finna go give me something to eat. Yeah, I think well, damn, what wing spider? Is the palace open right yeah. now? Shit, they, they back in Ohio. <coughs> they was in Ohio. Daryl. Is the palace kitchen open? Huh? Is the palace kitchen open? I think so, yeah. The wings will be clutch. Ooh, yo, free rate do got to fire. They got five lamb chops. How much do you charge me to get in that bitch? Today? Yeah. At this time, 10. I just got food, bro. Let me get the 20. Um, hmm. I think I got 11, 12. I'm going to blow this shit up. That hurt. Damn, I got to go back to the gym. My body falling apart. I'll be so shit. Back hurt. I'm getting chunky. I know I look terrible on camera. Better learn a couple of shit. You know she ain't even want Kanye West to be on them songs. Yep, she been said that. That nigga can't rap. <laughs> Kanye, he still out of samples. Yo, fact. His whole career based off of samples. Damn, producer. Mm-hmm. So. I'm kind of losing at this <laughs> argument right now. You are. But I know what I'm trying to say, though. No. Little Nas X is it's a pop. rapper. He's a rapper. But he is a pop, pop artist. No, he got a budget behind him. That means she make, you make pop music. That means everything, bro. He not. Most of his Ariana Grande. Pop. Pop. Her R&B sound pop. singer. What? Fuck she make pop music. Here. She make pop music. That's an R&B singer. That's Mariah Carey in 2024. No, bro, don't disrespect Mariah Carey. Bro. That is not disrespectful. That's disrespectful. She got the fuck. same range. She literally has the same amount. Of, all right. All right. My bad. Excuse me. What make you say that, though? I, I ain't Ariana Grande just... is a fucking singer. She can sing her ass off. But we the bitch about... has range. Her pen game is also quite lovely. She got some good writers, too. She got a good team. Mariah had a good team. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of parallelisms here. Rihanna make pop music. Rihanna makes pop music. Yeah, that song SOS was a pop song. Beyonce make that pop music. Like, no. She do? No. She got pop music. Cap. Before I let go? That is R&B, bro. That is, they played it on. That's pop. R&B. But they played it on pop session. That's R&B. Would you, would you label Earth, Wind, and Fire as R&B? That bitch I mean, it's house, pop music. She made a house album. House music is not... Pop. Crazy in love. House music. 
R and B. They played it on pop stations. It don't make it pop. Drake Tootsie Slide. They got they got rap. pop. That's rap. That's He's pop. a touchdown on here on pop. He is pop. You just called him alternative. That's the same. That's pretty That's much. That's not like the, the same. same. So that Tootsie Slide one pop. No. That was a rap song, bro. That was in the vein. The nigga like, had a dance and everything for it. Right. Cha Cha Slide did too. That ain't pop. It can be. It's picnic. They really need to make picnic music a genre. <laughs> it can yeah, be. Yeah, rap. <laughs> I mean, music for real, though. Nicki Minaj. She pop. A lot and of that's her albums a, That's pop. a real ass rapper, too. Yeah. But With she, some real ass she, fucking bars. She popped asleep, though. What'd you think about Scissor then? Oh, her last album. That's a pop R&B. artist. That's a pop that, that's alternative. girl. That's alternative. She's a pop girl, okay? Because Shirt is an R&B song. Snooze. Snooze, an R&B song. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fact. Hey. Well, Jordan, her album R and B. Now I ain't gonna lie, she bought it. She bought her exes on that song when she was rapping. The country song that she had on there was fire. Shout out to Sizzle. Shout out to Sizzle. But I definitely think that pop music is um is not popular music. I think it's a specific sound in my book. I ain't saying y'all wrong. I ain't saying I'm right. <laughs> I just believe in what I believe in. Is Usher pop music? Yeah. Oh my God. That's pop. So you been biased now this <laughs> <laughs> Now you been biased. I'm just saying. Oh my God. With Will, with yes, Will I Am is definitely but pop. But he, he came out as an R&B artist. Make me. Usher, you you, you right. push over the, bro, you push over the pop, bro, to make more money. A lot so of y'all saying transfer. Michael Jackson's first album, Off the Wall, is a pop album. No, but I'm I'm saying to you is this is that you may start off as a rapper, but once you cross over, you get into a different genre, you make more money. You get more grandma. Like for instance on Lil Wayne. When he did what that prom queen album? That's rock music. But he get but he got Thriller at, is a rock album. But at the same time as that, that's rock music, but he got more Grammy nominations and awards when he crossed over on that rock album. You're right, bro. You can get more a, a couple of days. Yeah. Whatever for it. If you cross over and do a song like this. Lizzo song. is a pop artist. Nelly. They, um, That's a country song. Over and over. Over and over again. Yeah, they, um, what, that that album was on. Sweat suit. suit. Yeah. yeah I, I can't take. Yep. I can't shake it. On bootleg. At the beauty supply store. Big fact. <laughs> Actually, I'm sorry. The beauty shop. Cause the man used to come in there with the plates and the CDs. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, you know you in the hood now. My nigga with that combo. <laughs> That's a wild combo. He selling plates and CDs. He said, "You know CDs. you in the hood." Y'all remember? Y'all remember nigga? the dude? Oh, Hong Kong. He's got a DVD player. <laughs> what you was about to get to that? Bro, he used to have everything. Oh, everything, bro. Going platinum. Nigga had everything. And he had the portable DVD. Right in front of your place. Right. Face. So you can make sure that it yeah. worked. Yeah. Shout out to him. Um, Pick the world up. I, I'm going to drop it real quick. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, it's just stuck in my head. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Shit so smooth. I just got to let it ride for a minute. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen. I am there. I'm superior. Spot and I'm looking so eloquent in the room, quiet, but the vision is elephant. Never on the wall like a flawless. I've been a poster, chilling in her room, and she said, What's up on the sofa? You know it's over when I come through, and I'm fresh, dad. Dapper like I'm dead, so everything Gucci fret. Gotta see the vision when I tell them they look fly. Daryl, like Paul, it's just niggas that kind of come out. I don't know how I'm coming through when I kill them with the crew. I've been doing it, felt like Albert, I'm platinum food, boo. I'm just trying to make a way, coming back in the shade. When you see me, PRPS on the edge today Because the am die young, die young, die young I'm a live young, young, young I'm a bad motherfucker Yeah, I'm a bad motherfucker They said the good die young, die young, die young Yeah, I'm a live long, long, long I'm a bad motherfucker Yeah, I'm a bad motherfucker Sometimes I can't help it when I go 
moccasin on his elbow That's the thriller for jackets when they say hell no He can't come up in the club, who we fresher than? I might go and sit up at the club in the building On the sofa, we ain't poppin' bottles Lookin' for the models, wanna swallow Probably take a gargle like she got a soft jaw Everybody talking, but I'm coming through like, oh no nah. Take her home to the game, then she goin' cool out Sharp heads, you said, drunk that like Fred I ain't even trippin', I sit back and play How I supposed to do Ooh, up and down, round and round, smooth A real fat nigga coming through in his prime I feel like being when I sound the cowboy on the line Let's get it, on, die on, die on